Have you ever wondered what is hidden below the bodywork of your car? What is happening under the bonnet? How is it even possible that when you put fuel in the tank, you just have to turn the keys and you get power to your wheels and exhaust gases at the back of your car? Well, as you probably know, the engine is the heart of your car. It is where the fuel is injected and is transformed in mechanical power, which is the force that will make the car move. But how is it able to do that? The engine is made of one or several pistons. They are all linked together with what we call a crankshaft. We will only take one piston to make it simpler. The piston can move up and down and when it does so, it makes the crankshaft rotate. This crankshaft is linked to the gearbox and then linked to the wheels. So what does really happen to make this piston move? Fuel is mixed with air and injected at the top of the piston. When a piston is at the top, the mixture will ignite and explode. This will push the piston down and apply a force on the crankshaft and make it turn. When you accelerate, you basically inject more fuel and more air for more power. By the way, the gauge that you have on your dashboard in your car is telling you how fast the crankshaft is rotating. This rotational speed is given in rotation per minute, RPM. If for example your gauge shows 6000 RPM, if you do the math, it means that the crankshaft is rotating at 100 rotations per second. For diesel cars, the crankshaft never goes above 4,500 RPM and for commercial petrol cars, the red line is around 6,500 RPM. For racing cars like Formula 1, which are petrol engines by the way, it can go up to 18,000 RPM. This difference between petrol and diesel engine is due to the way the engine works. But the majority of cars are powered by what we call four-stroke engines. It means that the engine, being a diesel or petrol, has to go through four steps, four strokes, to create power. These four steps are intake, compression, explosion and exhaust. The main differences between diesel and petrol are during the intake and the explosion strokes. We will start by describing how a simple atmospheric petrol engine works. Atmospheric means there is no turbo compressor. The main components of the engine are the piston, which will push on the crankshaft, and on the top of the piston, two valves can open and close, one for the intake and the other for the exhaust. During the intake phase, the intake valve will open and fresh gases and fuel goes into the combustion chamber. When the piston is at the bottom, the compression phase starts. The valve closes down and mixture of air and fuel is compressed while the piston goes up. Then, when it reaches the top, the explosion phase starts. For petrol engines, the spark plug creates a spark which ignites the mixture of air and fuel. This mixture is just in the right conditions to burn with generating the maximum of pushing force on the piston. This is the most important step as this is the one that creates the force that makes the wheel turn. When the piston reaches the bottom, it stops pushing on the crankshaft and the exhaust valve opens. All the burned gases can escape. They are pushed away from the combustion chamber when the piston goes up again. They will travel through the exhaust pipe and be released at the back of the car. Then a new cycle starts, with the intake valve opening again and you know what follows. Diesel engines work a bit differently and if you want to know more about the main differences between petrol and diesel engines, check out my next video. But now you know what happens to the fuel you put in your car and where the exhaust gases come from. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please put some comments below and thumbs up if you have learned something.